Hey friends, Jessica Johnson here from Creators Couture. So in this tutorial, we are doing this moon motif that you see here. And we recently had a full moon, I think it was on Wednesday. And that kind of got me thinking of the idea of playing with some kind of moon design. And I thought about doing something a little bit different because normally, you know, when you see the moon in the sky, you see like a white moon against the dark background. So I thought I would play with the idea of doing it with a dark back, a dark moon against a white background, a little more surreal. And uh, for the color, I kind of thought it would be cool because the moon affects like water so much, you know, it affects the tides, it can affect us. So I thought I would sample some colors from water and the result turned out really fun and really cool and I, I just think it's a lot of fun. And if you look in here at this blue that I've created inside of the moon shape, it's really kind of cool and it kind of has a stone sort of effect, like a cloudy stone with these little inclusions and little pops of um, sparkles. And I just thought it turned out so fun. I kind of just, you know, was experimenting around and kind of stumbled upon this. But what's cool about this is that like, I literally used for the blue part of this design, I used two brushes from my Galaxy collection and one of the Creators Couture layers, Creative Couture layer styles. So it was really fun. And then I just had, you know, I have to throw some gold on it. So I did that, of course. And then I kind of played around with the idea um, of just reversing it, kind of like uh, using that effect on the background and then having the white effect. So I kind of just reversed it. But here, if we zoom in, it's really like you can kind of see the galactic thing, but I did like layering with some brush strokes and then I layered on top of the layer styles and it really just gave it this really cool effect. And then here is like kind of where I was just, this is not, <laughs> I was just playing around with the kind of layering techniques. And this was actually the first one I did, although the shape is more of like a little bean, but I kind of think that's cool actually. Um, and I would like to maybe make like this into a pattern, but here is how I started with this effect. And it was just layering these brush strokes. And I just loved kind of that effect and how that looked. So I was like, cool, let's put it on a moon, you know? So that was kind of my experimenting starting phase. And then I thought I'd put it on a moon shape, but you know, you could do anything with this. It doesn't have to be a moon shape, but this can give you an idea for your own design. And then you can create some artwork or um, graphics or backgrounds or whatever. So let's get started. Um, so first of all, most of you guys are familiar with my pattern stamp technique, color blending. I'll have a link below if you're not. But what I did was I went over on Unsplash and I searched ocean. And so I found this um, picture and I was like, I'm using this to sample my colors from. So I created myself some color blending color palettes. And this is so much easier than create. This is the easiest way to create, you know, your own ideas for color or your own color palette is take it from a photo. It's amazing. And you get all the different colors. So what I did was I took my selection tool and I just went through and I selected like a really kind of a dark area. I selected one that has like all of the colors. I selected one that has, I made a palette that has like a light color. Um, and then, you know, um, most of you guys already know, but if you select over the area of the photograph and you go to edit define pattern, um, I, I have a command for it. So it's command M, I define pattern. And then we can use that with our color blending brushes and all of the colors in that area of the image that we defined will come pouring out of your brush. So I created some different um, color palettes and you can see them here on the right. So I have like some that's dark, some that's light. Um, and I created that from the, the image. So that's how we got that. So let's just take it back. Excuse me. I had a big sandwich for lunch. Um, and let's go ahead and see into the layers. So first of all, I'm gonna peel back the layers on this um, moon and I'm gonna show you how I did this. So let's take off the gold and Let's take off this layer, the sparkly layer. I've got some more layers here. So let's just take it back. So here we have a plain moon shape, okay? And then we're gonna do something like this. So we just wanna cover it. So I'm, of course I'm using a clipping mask, 
I'm gonna go over here, grab my pattern stamp tool, and then I'm going to grab, it's the Galaxy brush number 19, and I'm just gonna get one that's got like all the colors here. That's good enough. So this is the Galaxy brush number 19, and I'm just going to, here, let's start with this. So I'm just gonna fill this in, and this is a really fun, um, brush and now notice like if you go like this it doesn't have to fill it in like thick but if you push more pressure then you you know it looks really cool and you've got these beautiful transitions and stuff here so i'm just going to kind of fill it in like this and oh look those all those colors coming out oh my god you know you get all those really cool colors so then what do we have next so you know you can play around and i make everything on a new layer so i like to kind of spice it up so I might get one, one of the color palettes that's like a little bit lighter and kind of, you know, just play around with it a bit, but I kind of like how this looks. And then what do we got here? Okay, so then I'm happy with the first one how it is. Then I'm gonna add a new layer and then I'm going to grab Galaxy Brush number 22 and this is included in the download for members. And let's see here, which one I'm gonna get? Hmm, mm, mm, mm. Okay, this is pretty much the same color. So you know what, I'm just gonna stick with like this color right here. It's got a little bit of everything. And I'm just going to, there we go. So you can push down light on this brush or you can push down heavy and it'll fill it in. But let's see how I did it here. So yeah, you can just kinda play around with it. I might go to a lighter color palette now. So let's go over here, and maybe throw some of that in. And you see how we're just building up like that look and it's crazy because this is my galaxy collection but this looks even like a stone like a raw stone or a something kind of cool like oh my god i just love it so that i'm happy with that's cool so now we're going to add some of the sparkles and i'm just going to delete this so i to start off with I am going to leave this layer style on here. Um, this is one of my Creative Couture sparkly styles. But what I like to do is um, I have some of my styles preloaded, just a little selection from each collection in my styles panel. So I'll apply that to my layer so I get the general idea of what it's going to look like. And then I can go flip through my styles later and I will, you know, play around with which one I want actually. But this is Creative Couture um, style number 20, oh God, I forget which one it was actually, but it's one of them. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm taking Galaxy Brush number 22, which is the really like um, kind of explosive one that we just used. And I'm gonna still can use my pattern stamp and I'm gonna just take, from one of this blue, this this one here. Um, I don't want like the white in it, so I just want it to be blue. And so as I paint, I'm going to see the sparkle style um, come out already as I paint. So that's super cool. This I think this is deeply encrusted style. But if I push down really hard, you could really see the style. It's like a really sparkly encrusted layer style. But what I can do is like, you know, just you kind of, you know, do it lightly, play around, you can kind of see, you don't want to do too much, you know, so, but I love how you've got like little flicker, flickers, you know, if you do a light, a light touch, it's going to have that really like, uh, like just like little stars and stuff. But then if you push a little harder, you're going to get a burst. So that's super cool. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, or you know what? No. So this is the deeply encrusted style. But now what I would do is I would say, okay, this is looking cool, but let's flip through my creative couture styles and see which one I want. So in this case, I will open up my libraries panel and that's where I keep all of my styles collection. And this makes it really handy. So I could flip through here and watch the, the moon shape as I flip through all the different styles and you get different effects 
you know, with all of the different ones. Some are darker, some are more contrast. Here's a deeply encrusted style. Let's see here. And I love just seeing how they change. And that one's really cool. I think this is maybe the one that I used. Deeply encrusted seven, I don't know. But look how they change and it's so much fun that you can just flip through these different styles and see, you know, um, and see how they work. And I don't have to like import a lot of images or use a lot of clipping masks. So I think that's just, um, oops, so much fun. Some of them are lighter. So I'm just flipping through here. Metal mixes is quite cool. The caviar is kind of fun. Um, that's a metal mix. I really kind of dig that. Oh, these ones are no color, so that actually turns it to black and white. But I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna stick with the original one and I'll have a, which I'll write down which style it was, but I'm gonna copy the layer style and then paste it on there. So I think it's one of the deeply encrusted styles. And now for the final, because this is looking sparkly all over and we want a little bit of like contrast so um you know if you have everything sparkle then it doesn't look as special so i'm going to add one more layer on top of that and kind of cloud out and hide out some of those sparkles so i'm going back to the galaxy brush number 19 and i'm going to grab one of these like layers i think i'll take this one one of these patterns and i'm going to uh yeah that looks quite cool kind of with a light pressure because this is pressure sensitive kind of go over this and i actually might take like a darker like a darker one and then kind of do like this and now that adds a cloudiness over it and that, that adds some contrast and i might even go to a really dark one like this and add some really dark things and now we've got that 3d sort of effect and you've got some of that glitter being hidden you know on top of another layer and it just adds that depth and I think it looks super cool so something just different um, and then you know of course I want to like add a little bling bling a little bit of gold so what I did here was I put um, a little bit of actually I think I started with the gold on top let's see which one I had here I was trying to play around with it and make sure that it looks really nice I forget let's see here there we it was like this let's see how it was no it was not that one I think it was that one yeah I think it was this one so what I did here was I used a clipping mask still on the clipping mask on a new layer so I took um, my gold brush, my 24 karat gold uh, mixer brush, and it's already loaded, so honestly I didn't have to like reload it, but you can reload it with uh, some gold and I'll have the link down below. But I did like a little, little accents like this with this brush on top, and I think it looks really cool. And I did, you know, it in three parts there, and before that I didn't have this on the back and I was like that's okay but I wanted to I like I just wanted something else I wanted some you know I wasn't exactly happy with it so I put a layer below the um the shape and then I took my gold 17 because I it, this one is a little bit like that it blends the gold but I wanted something more crusty I don't know um that's not as blendy so I take this, this more chunky even. So I took gold, uh, 24 karat gold brush 17 and did some of that, you know, going around the back side. And I thought that that turned out really cool. So gave it kind of a cool effect and you can play around with it, whatever, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. And it just looks like this gold crusted on top of it. I think it was quite cool. And then I wanted like a light sky. So what I did was I have this like, I think it's just pure white on the background. And then behind it, I made a new layer. I made, I took 
using my, I need to grab my pattern stamp tool, this cloud brush number one, which was from a previous tutorial um, for my members. And I took the lightest uh, selection, the lightest palette um, that I had sampled. And then I just made these, these clouds. And I think I love this cloud brush. I think it's really fluffy and delicious. So I just kind of did like this and made these cool clouds. And then just above it, I took my regular one color brush, which I rarely use, and I grabbed my sparkle brush. And then just in front of there, I put some of these, uh, just put some brush strokes of the sparkles and I think it looks really cool. So um, that is the basis of that tutorial. So you, and then of course I showed you here. So this, what I did here was I just simply reversed it. So rather than putting the blue on the moon shape, I put the blue in the background like a normal sky and it really kind of looks amazing too. And that was, this was my original kind of experiment. So you're gonna have all of those um, Photoshop file resources so you can kind of, you know, check it out for yourself. And, you know, you can take this idea and do anything with it. You know, it doesn't have to be a moon shape. It can be working it into just an abstract background. You can use other colors, you know, just kind of the sky's the limit. So hopefully that'll kind of like trigger some creativity and you can use this in your, your things. And one thing that I wanted to say was that I was getting a lot of messages lately about people who make items for sale, which is like a lot of the people who buy my tools make items for sale. And I am like, they're like, oh, you know, sometimes they're kind of shy to like take the tutorials that I make and like make something just like it. But um, as long as you're doing it yourself and putting your unique spin, then I'm like, do it. That is why I make these tutorials. Like I literally want to give you guys value. Um, I want you guys to be successful, to be creative, to not be shy to like, you know, I'm just kind of giving you a jumping off point or an idea. So that is like, I know that that's how I'm giving you value. So don't be shy to put these into action, to make a, a digital background for sale or a Canva template or something like that, or something for your Etsy shop. So, you know, as long as you're doing it and you're making something your own way with your own little spin, like, you know, spin on it, don't be shy. And you can always message me, but like nine times out of 10 people are messaging me. They're like, um, oh, can I do this? Can I do that? And normally it's like, yes, hell yes, you know? <laughs> um, and sometimes I, I hear some of my other creators who make resources for people that are, um, you know, creating things. And it's like, it kind of blows my mind because it's almost like they don't understand who's buying their resources or they don't understand why people buy resources. It's like to, um, you know, for a purpose, like, uh, you know, if you're making cutesy cutesy things and stuff, it's not gonna be somebody doing it for their client work. Usually it's something for their Etsy shop. So I just want to like let everybody know that that is why I'm here. Um, and I'm like 100% for that and want you guys to uh, do your own version of it and, you know, sell it or use it for your client or commercial purposes or whatever. So I'm 100% supportive of that. And it's, and it's really why I do what I do. So just a little rant there, but let me know if you have any questions and make sure you're signed up for my newsletter if you're not already. Um, I've got a lot of exciting things coming out. I keep saying soon, but I'm, I'm almost there, so I'm really excited. And please, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, all of that, and um, stay tuned for the next ones. And all these resources that I used on this tutorial are available for my members, and I'll have the link down below.